Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardener. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to share with you something uh, very unusual. I have never seen something like this happen before. Uh, I did notice a lot of these leaves were drying up all of a sudden. And then when I did a closer inspection, I seen that the leaves were kind of empty. It was like somebody has uh, scooped up all of the pulp from inside the grapes and have just left uh, the skin of the grape aside and that's exactly and then I noticed there was a lot of poop all of these leaves are all empty from inside uh, they all are dry they do not have anything inside it's completely dry there's lot and lot of poop uh, and then I see this little pinky over here as you can see this little pinky so he's the one who's been doing all this mischief and uh, he's been shitting a lot there's a lot of poop everywhere he's been enjoying his feast so these are all of his you can see it's all poop and the leaves are completely and here we have the culprit let me take it out okay he was just in between of his meal he's not done with his meal this is i think the 10th or so let me take it out here we go okay, he still has some poop on him uh, please guys if you're having your lunch dinner or food i'm so sorry for this but i am completely devastated with this uh, has completely eaten up the lower leaves this is the first time ever I'm seeing a, a caterpillar inside a you know the uh, okay I don't want to touch this thing I'm seeing a caterpillar for the first time inside a succulent leaf it has scooped up the entire leaf from inside out and this is what it tends to look like uh, and this is the uh, poop and he is almost on eating another one I don't know what should I do but uh, yes my lower part of the succulent has been completely destroyed by this guy I just have the crown area that is still uh, doing fine but uh, the lower leaves have all been destroyed this is the culprit I don't know I think I have to keep a closer eye on all of these succulents but I definitely like the color of this guy he has this uh, beautiful pink color with nice uh, pink dots I think I'm going to probably feed it to some birds because I had to have some birds that visit I'll probably feed the bird I wish I had my fishes here they would have enjoyed eating it so this is the culprit uh, I have no clue uh, what I'm gonna do I think I have to probably keep a closer eye on my succulents and uh, because I, uh, I haven't been using any cinnamon powder off late ever since I have shifted I have to go and purchase a good amount of cinnamon powder and uh, because I don't spray anything on my succulents and I think I have to keep a closer eye on my succulents but this is something that I've seen for the first time I uh, to be honest, I never thought that a succulent can ever have a, you know, a caterpillar attack or something. Like that. So guys, please do keep a check on your succulents. Uh, you never know. Probably this is something that I'm seeing for the first time. I don't know what are the other pests that could attack succulents apart from aphids, mealybugs, uh, scale insects and... Uh, some kind of cocoon insect that I've already made a video on and this is something very new she has destroyed the entire lower portion but we have found the culprit now another very important thing if you are facing an issue like this please do not water on the leaves because there are a lot of cuts there could be a lot of cuts on the succulent because it is being eaten by something you do not want to add any water or moisture on the leaves otherwise the succulent will get rotted what I would suggest is now over here, I know the culprit, I have caught the culprit, I have taken it out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do bottom watering because the succulent looks slightly dehydrated. But I have to be extremely careful because if the water or moisture is going to come in contact with any of the cut on the leaves 
or on the succulent stem then definitely the succulent will get rotted so we have to be extremely careful you can do bottom watering without dropping any water on the leaves so i'm going to leave this aside and see what's going to happen next so guys now here is the update of uh, the succulent that was eaten up by that uh, caterpillar or lava or pupa i am not very sure about what insect it is if you guys have come across this and if you have some knowledge please do share in the comment section it will be really helpful to understand and probably uh, we can talk about it in another video but uh, as of now uh, everything is uh, gone i'm pretty happy that the succulent did survive uh, it has put in a lot of uh, Uh, babies uh, i had taken out all of those uh, leaves i had left the crown area as it is and uh, you can see the amount of pups that have uh, uh, come up now this was almost uh, one and a half month to two months and this is a fast growing succulents a uh, succulent sorry this is an echeveria seria i think i'm going to put the name on the screen i'm not very sure if i'm pronouncing it correct it's echeveria a uh, seria or seria i'm not very sure but you can see it's doing quite well i took off all the fresh leaves as well uh they haven't rooted or they haven't put out any pups i'm not very sure if they are going to be successful but that's absolutely fine uh we have plenty of pups on the stem uh the stem doesn't look quite damaged uh it looks pretty much okay i initially thought that the stem might have been damaged but uh that particular guy had only uh, eaten the leaves from within but did not harm the stem but the stem still looks a little weak i hope the pups reach a decent size because i do not want to lose this succulent uh, it's an absolutely beautiful succulent i do have more uh, succulents like this but i do not want to lose this one because uh, so far it has been so good and i do not uh, want to lose it i hope the pups tend to grow faster so that i can separate them once they reach a decent size right now i cannot separate the offsets i cannot separate the pups because they are very small if i'm going to separate them at this stage they will definitely die because they won't be able to root uh, the mother stem is giving a lot of uh, nutrients and water right now so it's doing absolutely fine the only thing that is worrying me is the stem over here as you can see it looks slightly damaged uh so i hope everything goes well uh right now it's looking absolutely good the growth is also very good uh everything looks fine i hope very soon they reach a decent size if uh, i am able to make a video on it if everything goes well i will definitely make a video uh, separating the offsets uh, separating the pups from this mother stem and uh, i hope fingers crossed everything works out really well because this is an absolutely beautiful succulent i do not want to lose it especially with so much of pups definitely not so guys i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep propagating